Hi, this is Lynn from Sweet Natured, and these are my Queen Mary 2 ship tips, as I was enjoying by Mikey. Hello. Hello, who put the video together. So yes, Queen Mary 2, let's have a look at my tips. You now find me in one of the laundrettes. There is a few laundrettes that are just like one... The scattered round, I think it's decks 4, 5, 6, 8, 10 and 11. But they're not in the same place no, on each deck. No, no. So if you drop your laundry off and we oh that was a busy one, I'll go up to the next floor, it's not in the same place. So make sure you check the ship map. Yeah, definitely. And it's worth pointing out, these are completely free. Yes. Now, we've talked about these on previous practical ship tours, like on P&O, where the, um, the washers and the dryers are free. Yes. But the detergent, you have to go downstairs. Well, on this one, on q your detergent, and it says little sheet ones, is all included. You've also got irons on here as well, because you can't bring your own iron on board oh, no. on any ship that no. I'm aware of. No. So not, not just cue now. No. Uh, there's instructions as to how to get things working, which again, it sounds like an obvious thing. But they're not on P and O. Or or on other laundrettes as no. well that we've seen. No. Well, so, you know, whether they're free or not. Um, each one is about the same size. We haven't noticed any that are bigger. But there could be. There could be. <laughs> so yeah, laundrettes, great for especially if you're doing a transatlantic impact light. Well, anyway, I think the, one of the reasons that they give them away for free on these is the tent are also doing longer cruises, yes. including the world yeah. cruise as well. Yeah. So you can still get paid laundry, so if you want someone else to do it and you don't want to spend time in here, you can still send it off again, laundered and ironed and everything else, or you can come do it yourself. Yeah. On to the next one. Well, before we get on to your next tiplins, would you like to invite people to subscribe? I would love to invite people to subscribe. Thank you, as always, if you already have done. Honestly, it makes me so happy when it goes up. <laughs> Fair enough. And oh. you can follow us on social media as well. And if you'd like to consider supporting the channel a little bit more, click the join button on our membership and just watch the trailer and see if that's for you. Ooh. What's your next tip, Lens? The secret lift of observation lift, as it's called. It is. It's a scenic lift and we'll take you around how to get into there in a second because it's not signposted. It'd be very easy to go on this cruise and not know it's here. We only knew it was here because people told us about yes, it. So, I tell you. so we're going to show you how to get it. Now at the moment, we're on the observation deck, which is a great place to come and film when you're coming in, and take pictures when you're coming in and out That's anyway. Right. But it's on deck 11 and the doors are not very obvious. It just says entrance or Passenger alleyway, or depending like which way you're coming through. Yeah, alleyway. I think when you're coming through one of them, it does say passenger alleyway. Yeah. Now there is multiple entrances to this, and we'll show you the decks that it covers. It doesn't cover the scenic lift; doesn't go all the way up and down. No. Uh, so we'll show you that in a second. But would you like to take us off the observation deck and show us the secret lift? Yes. I'll follow you. It looks like, it looks like a service elevator because it's not, there's nothing to it. No, and it shows you on here, at the side of the observation deck, that it just covers decks 11, 10, 9, 8 and 7. And it brings us out at the side of the spa. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, look at the double thing again. Weird. Let's go. It's a lovely little view as we're going down. We're going to this, so that's a nice little view over the pot. And then you can see back out onto the promenade. Here we go. And we're out into the spa. And when you look at it from this side, there's, there's no markings for it whatsoever. 
you just see a little sign there that says elevator to salon and a, a sign for the spa. And that's it. On to the next one. What's your next tip, Lins? Um, the bridge. Well, it's not the bridge itself. You don't get to drive it. But a bridge viewing area. Now, it's not always operational. No, because at the minute there's, there's drills. There is, yeah. And if they're coming in and out of port, it tends not to be. Yes. So it's only open on sea days, as it says on there. But it could be closed for any reason as well. Now, even if it was open, we would, you're not allowed to record in there. No. Because you can look straight onto the bridge yeah. and see what everyone's doing. Again, this is a really hidden thing. We're just going to show you on the map where we are. We're on deck 12. Deck 12. Stairway A. Yeah. And we're right up here. <laughs> Got my pencils. And there's so nothing even cheating. marked there. I've got a whole system. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, this is going to be a massive hit. Yeah, it's going to be a massive help because QM2, being an ocean liner, is not set out like your regular cruise ships. And it doesn't matter whether you're a seasoned cruiser or a no. first time cruiser, it's a quirky layout. Yes, but we have. A system and hopefully it will help you. And you're pointing with a pencil. I've got a pencil. We've got props. So let's start at stairway A. Now what happens is navigation is based on the stairways but we found a system where for example stairway A we know is for aperitifs in the Commodore Club and aqua spa for the spa. So stairway A that's how we get there. And we also walk across our own floor. We don't go up to seven, because it's just... Seven's the, the only floor, really, where you can, can walk the, the whole distance but that means without we're... going up and yeah. down the hill. You can do it on three as well, but, it's... but you've got to drop down to like the galley and up and to other areas. And then you everybody in the, in the buffet. But yeah. yeah, stairway A. So what we've done is we've given a letter for the stairway so a as you've said there uh, stands for aperitifs which we get in the commodore land commodore club commodore club and aqua spa for then we go to stairway b b for bathing so that takes us up to the pavilion pool yeah b for bathing then we go to c this is my favorite but also quite complicated because the c stands for Cocktails, cooking, because <laughs> it takes us to the Britannia room, and champagne. So because you've got sort of the the sort of champagne bar, the chart rooms, the Samuels tasting room, and, and Britannia. Britannia. It's one of the main areas where we tend to go to very Maybe. regularly. It's yes. a central point. Yes. But again, we've just linked a letter to the stairway so that we had half a clue where we were when going, and then D. That is for delectable derriere, and that means we've got the veranda restaurant there, and we've also got all the lovely pools and hot tubs in D. We have, and we also have D for dancing. And D for dancing. Because we've got the Queen's, Queen's room. room. So, well, there was another D as well on there. What's the D? Dogs. D for dogs. So... It all it, makes sense. It works for us. Having that visual link that we can link to the stairwell. Because yes. the first day that we were on, we were just first wandering day, around confused. The first two days. <laughs> yeah. But then we As soon as we worked a system. system. Now, it worked for us doesn't necessarily mean it's it'll work, work for, you. for you. How can you not do But they don't have dogs? to copy our, our letters. But oh, D yeah. for dogs is a good one. And dancing. And D for dancing. C for cocktails, chart room, champagne. Yes. It's it B works. for bathing. Yeah. On to the next one. <laughs> Even if you say it like yourself. It helps me. That's enough. <laughs> and hopefully it'll help you. On to the next tip. Yes. What's your next tip, Lens? I want to talk about the pavilion pool. Now it is beautiful. But unlike a lot of other pool ships, it's got changing rooms. Which means that when you go out for the day, you can pop your swimwear into your bag if you've had a hike or if anyone can relax when you get back on the ship and you can come back and get changed straight away there's all the towels that you would ever need there is, I mean you get that at most 
people wearing yes, this. The, well, the big advantage for me is that you're not having to walk up or down in, in wet gear. No, no, that's yeah. And you know, walking up with your flip flop foot if you're on a lower deck oh, and you're at the other side of the ship can yes. be a bit of a drag. Yeah. But I'll just quickly show you in. There is a this is the gents changing room. I can't go in there. I will no. let you know. But on the other side of the hot tubs there is the ladies', ladies ones. Yes. So just for sort of where we are, um, this is at the back left hand side of the pavilion pool as we come in and you've got the fairways just here. So we're coming through the door, you've got a big cubicle area with bench, plenty of accessibility room as well. So if you a wheelchair or you need a little bit more sort of room, not a problem. And then two huge showers. Plenty of room. So you can get changed and off you go. On to your next one. What's your next tip, Lens? Now buffets can be traditionally very busy, but we found a quiet area within the King's Court. So if you come out of stairway C, deck seven, and you find this gentleman here with his very interestingly placed bottle, you want to go in here. I'll show that in a second. Yes, and it feels miles away from the buffet. They also use it in an evening as well. For well, it's the special. alternative dining yes. venue where they've got cordlies, bamboo, cordlies, no. coriander, coriander. nordlies, bamboo, and the piazza, I think, the other one? Yes. The Italian one. So in an evening, you can't sit there. No. But at lunchtime and breakfast, you can do it. And it really is quiet because no one goes into it. No. No. It's so peaceful, whereas it can be really hard to find a table yeah. uh, just, in the bush It just feels absolutely miles away. But let me just show people yes. where you go. Yeah. So we've come up the elevators to deck seven in stairway C, and you'll see this in front of you, which is just to the right. King's Court is there and there. You can see Lindsay's bottle man and you can see a sign for King's Court. Now in an evening, right where I'm stood here, there'll be a sign saying alternative dining venue. But if you come into here, that's where you check in in the evening for your venue and you can't get round. But during the day, even when the buffet's open like it is now, there's just nobody in here. And there is a little gluten-free station as well. Now obviously you just go get your things from the main buffet as you would do normally. But then come and sit here. And it's honestly so much better, isn't that? It's lovely. It feels like in a restaurant. It does. The, the end of another video, Lens. Oh well, thank you for watching. I hope my tips have helped. And cheers, Lens. Cheers, darling, and have a lovely day.